Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be sharing my rose scented shower routine. This shower routine will have you feeling like you're going to blossom into a flower one scent at a time. We're going to start by lighting our candle just to set the mood. This candle smells so good. It had my bathroom just smelling amazing. And then I like to start with my hair. If it is a hair day or if I feel like I need to wash my hair, then I always start with my hair before I do anything else. We are gonna be rose scented all the way from head to toe. In this video, I'm using the Shea Moisture Peace Rose Oil Complex, and this shampoo smells amazing. Not only does it smell amazing, but it left my hair so soft after I rinsed it out, and I was so surprised. Like, it was just a very good wash day. And if you don't know, I like to wash my hair two times, especially if my hair feels like it has a lot of product in it. So this is the second lather right here and it lathers up amazing. And this is an all natural shampoo. All the Shea Moisture shampoos or products are all natural. And this is not sponsored. I just love their products in general. So this was just another great shampoo to add to my collection. rinse my hair completely and I spend a lot of time under the water making sure that there's no shampoo in my hair whatsoever that's very important I then like to go in with my deep conditioner in this video I'm using the matching treatment mask by Shea Moisture and this is supposed to soften and hydrate your hair it's for dry and brittle hair and when I tell you that this left my hair so soft I was amazed by how soft my twist was. I did not take my twist out during this video or this wash day. Um, I don't always take it out and detangle it. I wait until it's time to style it. And then I take down each twist at a time and style my hair however I'm gonna style it for the week. Here I'm just adding my two shower caps in my hair turban just to lock in the heat while I get into my shower routine. First, I like to start by rinsing off all that conditioner because yeah, it can get a little messy. And then I like to wash my face, wash all the conditioner off my face, and then I'm going right in with the Dove Peony and Rose Oil Body Wash. And this body wash smells so good. I mean, everything in this video smells amazing. But Dove is one of my faves. I've been using Dove for years. My skin does not react well to a lot of different products, so I do try to be careful on what kind of products I try. But I never had an issue with any of the Dove body washes, any scents from them. So I definitely will give them a go. Next, we're going in with the OGX, and this is the Rose Water and Pink Sea Salt Scrub Wash. This body wash is amazing as well. Just like Dove, I've been using OGX for a while. This is my first time trying the rose water and pink salt scent. But when I tell you I'm in love with this scent, I am in love with this scent. And one thing I forgot to mention is that with my first wash, I like to go in with just a washcloth and my Dove. And then with the second wash, I like to go in with a scrub wash or something with some kind of exfoliant in it. And I also like to take my loofah. This makes my skin so soft, baby soft, like butter, I promise. Next, I'm going in with the Shea Sugar Scrub by Tree Hut. And this one is the Moroccan Rose Scent. And this scrub is, I'm not going to say amazing. I've been saying that the whole video. But when I tell you that this is the only body scrub you're going to need in your routine, this is pretty much the only body scrub you're going to need in your routine. I use this scrub all over my body, my elbows, my knees, my feet. Oh, it's amazing for your feet as well. It just does wonders. And then I like to use this scrub right before I shave with the Nivea In Shower Body Lotion. And this lotion does make your skin feel like silk. It's very important to exfoliate any part of your skin before you shave. That's going to 
help get rid of all that dead skin before you go in with your razor and give you a smoother and closer shave. After I'm done with my shower and shaving and doing all that good stuff, I then like to go ahead and rinse out my conditioner and I make sure to rinse out all my conditioner or as much as possible. I sometimes leave in just a very little bit um, just for moisture but it really just depends on what products I'll be using next. But when I tell you I'm in love with this treatment mask, this treatment mask had my hair so soft I have to go back and get the full size because I just picked up two little packs which is not going to get me nowhere. So I definitely have to run out and get the full size ASAP. I need it in my routine all the time. After I'm done rinsing out all the conditioner, I like to wrap my hair in a hair turban. And then it is very important that I wash my back, scrub it very well. I use the same combination. I use my Dove soap first. Then I go in with the OGX or any kind of body scrub, but just for this routine, we're using the OGX. And then you're gonna need some kind of tool that will help you reach your back. It can be any kind of scrub you can find. I found this one at Walmart for around I like to exfoliate my face and the cleanser I'm using is by Body Prescriptions and it's their 2-in-1 exfoliating facial cleanser. done cleansing my face I like to go in with the rose water and vinegar smooth skin toner then I like to follow up with nighttime skincare routine and I like to use a serum a nighttime treatment and an eye treatment and that's what I'm applying here I'm finishing this off with the strawberry lip oil. I couldn't find a rose oil one. This lotion is super moisturizing and you get a lot for your buck. You can find this in every scent at Walmart. Definitely recommend.
I am pairing this lotion with the rose water and jasmine body butter. This body butter is okay. I've had more moisturizing body butters, but it did leave my skin soft and shining. So I like it for that reason. And of course, it smells good, so you can't go wrong with that. Next, I'm topping it off with the Bath & Body Works Rose Scent Body Mist. And this is what I like to spray at night. It's very light, subtle, and it pairs so well with the other scents that we just applied. For my deodorant, I'm trying a all-natural deodorant. This one is in the Rose and Vanilla scent. So far, I like it. It's been on for over 12 hours and it's been working well. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed my head to toe rose scented shower routine. I enjoyed making it for you and if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I would love to chat with you in the comments and I will see you in my next upload.